and just levitate Okay guys, so welcome to sa ating YouTube channel. Ito na lesson tab for sa ating trigonometry. So this is all about change of base. So before tayo mag change of base, yung property ni change of base natin, uh, recall muna natin to. So parang sa application tayo ng uh, equation pa dito or exponential equation. So recall na if we have, recall if a raised to x is equal to a raised to y, then x is equal to y. So, ito yung isa sa napakagandang property ng ating exponential equation. Pero, what if yung isang side na equation or never silang magkakaroon ng turi ng base or same bases? Ano yung gagawin natin? Okay, so for example, or for instance, yung a. So, if we have 2 raised to x equal to 7. So, yung 7, ang hirap maghanap ng base 2. So, 2 raised to something Tama, ng 2 raised to something, tapos, dapat ang sagot is 7. Nga kayo, napakahirap na maghirap ng 2 raised to something is equal to 7 na yan. Napakahirap. Okay, so, ano yung gagawin natin dito? So, ito yung tinatawag na application ng common logarithm. So, pag hindi kaya, apply logarithm both sides. So, ito yung technique. Pag number or constant yung given, kasi hindi naman mag-equal ng base, apply may common logarithm. Pag merong e, so for example, e raised to x equals to 7, so apply ka lang ng uh, natural logarithm, or sorry, ln. Okay, so ito yung So, I think gagawa na lang ako ng example nun. So, this is for letter a. So, for letter a, we have 2 raised to x is equal to 7. Okay, so since hindi natin kaya i-express sa 7 as base 2, so, napakahirap talagang hanapin yan. So, ang gagawin natin, supply natin common logarithm both sides. So, apply log both sides. So, this is logarithm of base 10 of 2 raised to x. Then, logarithm of 7. So, bring down si x. So, this is x times logarithm base 2 is equal to logar eh, logarithm of 2 is equal to logarithm of 7. Then, x simply equals sa logarithm of 7 over logarithm of 2. Okay? Then, therefore, by calculator, solve na lang, what is logarithm? So, calculate that is logarithm base 10 of 7 over logarithm base 10 of 2. Okay? So, sabi ni calculate that is 2.807. So, exact number is yung ganyang kahaba. Lagay nyo. So, lagay nyo na exact value. Kung ilan yung nababas sa calc yun. So, ang nababas is 2.807.354.922. Okay, yun yung exact yung, yung value. Pero kung gusto mo yung pinaka-exact value talaga, probably ito na rin. So, pwede naman ito yung box natin kasi value naman ng x yan. So, at the same time, mas exacto yan. So, kunyari, substitute ko dun. Kunyari, I have 2 raised sa logarithm base 10 of 7 over logarithm base 10 2. Okay, so, kunyari, sinabsute ko yan. That is 7. Exactong exacto yung sagot. Pero kunyari, sinabsute ko yung 2, 2 raised sa 2.807 35 sorry, 35 That is almost 7. Kulang pa nga actually. Ah, sorry, 8 dapat yun. So, wait ako to. 2.8, no? 2.807 Oh, saktong 7 din pala. Okay, so... Again, pwede ito, ito. So, kung sakto naman sa calculator mo to, okay lang. Okay, next is... Lagay tayo dito, singit. Ako nyari, 8.8... 8.1... So, 8.1, that is e raised to x equal to 3. So, ito yung sabi ko. Pag meron namang e na involved, apply mo si ln. So, applying ln both side. So, this is 8.1, ha? So, this is ln of e raised to x is equal to ln of 3. Then, bring down si x. This is ln of e is equal to ln of 3. ln of e is equal to 1. Tama? So, this is x is equal to ln of 
3. So, pwede ito na yung value. Okay, so, again, kung gusto mo kunin LNO3, okay lang din. Okay, so, ito ay singit lang na. Keep it. So, next is letter B. So, check that si letter B. So, we have 3 raised to x plus 1 is equal to 84.2. Okay, so, again, hindi natin kahit express sa 84.2. Mas lalong mahirap yan, express as 3, as base 3. Okay, so, again, since number siya, apply natin si common logarithm both sides. So, this is logarithm. So, this is logarithm of 3 raised to x plus 1 is equal to logarithm of 84.2. Bring down x plus 1. So, this is x plus 1. Then, logarithm of 3 is equal to logarithm of 84.2. Okay, then divide both sides by logarithm of 3. This is x plus 1 is equal to logarithm of 84.2 over logarithm of 3. So, x is equal to logarithm of 84.2 over logarithm of 3 minus 1. So, pwedeng ito na yung sagot or approximately, ano yung value nya? Logarithm base 10, logarithm base 10 of 84.2 over logarithm base 10 of 3. Okay, then minus 1. Okay, so approximately that is 3.03 .03 or x or simply 3.03 So, check kung tatama. If I have 3 raise sa 3.03526791 plus 1 kasi x plus 1 siya. That is 84.200 something. So, almost 84.2 yung labas na value. Okay, so I think pwede ko ito i-box as kanyang final answer. Okay, so ganun yung gagawin dyan. Okay, next. Paano naman si letter C? If we have 7 raised to 2x minus 5 times 7 raised to x minus 6 is equal to 0. So, eto, napasin mo, may 2x dito, tas x. Okay, so I have C is equal to 7 raised to 2x minus 5 times 7 raised to x minus 6 is equal to 0. So, ang technique naman dito, ako, nakikita ko siya as obvious as quadratic. So, sir, bakit quadratic? So, panting naman yung gagawin, sir. Yung 7 raised to 2x, pwede ko siya express sa ganito. 7 raised to x raised to 2 minus 5 times 7 raised to x minus 6 is equal to 0. Okay, so hindi mo pa nakikita ang quadratic, mag let tayo. So, let A to be 7 raised to x. So, therefore, this is A squared minus 5A minus 6 is equal to 0. So, therefore, that is quadratic. Then, by factoring, that is simply A minus 6, then A plus 1 is equal to 0. Or, therefore, A is equal to 6 and A is equal to negative 1. Okay, next, balik natin si A. A is 7 raised to x. So, this is 7 raised to x is equal to 6. Then, this is 7 raised to x is equal to negative 1. Note, hindi ito pwede. Pero bakit? Pag in-apply mo yung common logarithm both sides, walang logarithm of 10 raised to, log logarithm base 10 of negative 1. So, this is extraneous. Okay, so ito lang yung gagana. Okay, so apply common logarithm. So, this is logarithm of 7 this to x is equal to logarithm of 6, which means that x logarithm 7 is equal to logarithm of 6, which means that x is equal to logarithm of 7 over logarithm of 6. Okay, so approximately, what is the value? That is logarithm base 10 of 7 over logarithm base 10 of 6. That is 1.08. This is 1.08603313. Okay, so pwede ito yung value niya. Lagyan ko ng or. Or na lang. Or. Okay, so ganyan yung gagawin mo pag hindi ka express as similar basis. Okay, so last. Eh, syempre yung topic na natin yung change of base. So sorry, pinahaba ko doon kasi hindi ko na ilagay ito sa mga previous example. 
ay kasi haba. So, one way para mapahaba ko rin siya is lagyan ko ng ganito para masolve natin. Okay, so we have the change of base formula. So, so ano sabi ng change of base formula? If you have logarithm of n base a or logarithm base a of n, that is simply logarithm of n base b over logarithm of a base n. So, meaning, si base a lahat ay nagkaroon din ng base in which pare sila dapat b. Okay, so, more likely, ang pwede natin gawin is yung base na, for example, nakakita ka nito. For example, logarithm of 3, logarithm base 3 of 7. So, uh, instead na calculate mo, pwede ganito gawin mo. So, ganito gawin natin. This is logarithm base 10 of 7 over logarithm base 10 of 3. Mas pwede yan. Okay, mas kaya natin siyang gawin like that. Okay, so, mas suggested or highly recommended ko, pag mag-change of base ka, yung base na ilalagay mo is 10, or kung ano yung require nung evaluation. So, for example, uh, for example lang, nakita ka ng base 2, i-base 2 mo na lang din parehas, para mas mapadali yung ating solution. Okay, so, again, maintindihan mo yung pag nag-solve ka na, literal. So, again, mas common talaga si base 10. Mas madali. So, to na ito, example, We have find the logarithm of base 5 of 15. So, sa CalQ, sabi nga, kaya ni CalQ yun eh. That is 5, 15. Kaya right away. Tama. Pero using change of base, this is just equal sa logarithm base 10 of 15 over logarithm of 5. Okay. And that is simply equal lang sa So, solve natin. Logarithm base 10 of 15 Okay, over logarithm base 10 of 5 That is simply 1.6826 So this is 1.6826 So ito yung change of base nya, ito yung kanyang value Okay, ito yung change of base nya Okay, another thing, pwede ko naman sa change of base sa ganito Kunyari, logarithm Logarithm base 2 of 15 over logarithm base 2 of 5. So, kunyari, sinod ko siya. Isa yung calculator na, sir. So, gawin ko ang base 2. So, check natin ko parehas lalabas. That is 1.68 pa rin. So, wala naman talagang impact. Bagoyin ko man ang base. So, sir, bakit din yung ginagamit ko? So, may mga calculator kasi na hindi kaya yung ganito yung paglalagay ko ng may base na ilalagay usually fix ang calculator nakalagay, nakalagay logarithm lang so ang papansin mo yun lalo sa mga 2-liner na calculator o kayo sa mga sharp sa mga cash na 2-liner so again, pag, pag click mo yung log hindi mo malalagay yung base fix lang siyang base 10 ayun isa sa explanation ko bakit gusto ko mag base 10 tayo lagay kasi para maging ano naman tayo sa ibang may calculator na hindi uh, hindi pa masyadong ka-advance yung calculator nila okay so Hoping na naiintindihan mo yan. Okay, next is, we have ln of 20. So, again, ln of 20 is solvable using yung ating, ating ln. So, kaya natin evaluate using yung calculator, ln of 20, madali lang yan. Pero, use natin si uh, change of base. So, paano siya sa change of base? So, we all know that ln is logarithm base e of 20. Okay, which means, gawin natin, this is logarithm base 10 of 20, then logarithm base 10 of e. Okay, so ito yung change of base nya. Which is equal sa, ano yung logarithm yan? That is logarithm base 10. So that is, that is logarithm base 10 of 20 over logarithm base 10 of e. So that is equal sa 2.9957. This is 2.9957322274. Okay, next is, Logarithm of 6 base 3. So, this is just equal sa logarithm base 6. Ah, logarithm base 10 of 6. Then, logarithm base 10 of 3. This is just equal sa. That is 1.63. So, sinulog ko na agad. 1.63, 0.929754. So, again, in-apply ko yung change of base. Oh, change of base. Although, kaya mo na solve. So, another form ng change of base is ganito. So, may other form pa tayo o formula. So, may ibang book. Ganito siya sabi sa change of base. Mayroon, may logarithm base A of B tayo. That is simply equal sa 1 over logarithm of B base A. So, pwede yan. Equal din yan. 
Okay, so for example, nakita ka ng problem na ganito, kunyari 1 over logarithm of 2 base 3. So, find the value of that. So, that is simply equivalent sa logarithm base 3 of 2. Okay, so verify natin kung tama yan. What is 1 over logarithm base 2 of 3? Okay, so check ko. That is 0.306. So what is logarithm base 3? So base 3 naman tayo of 2. That is 0.309. Which is parehas. Okay, so ibig sabihin tama yung sunod natin. Again, check nga. Logarithm base 2. Okay, so parehas na parehas yung lumabas na value. So therefore, tama itong identity na to. So para siyang identity, to be honest. Okay, so that's all for this video. So hoping na naintindihan mo si trigonometry. Hoping na naintindihan mo si logarithm. So thank you for watching. Hoping na manood ko pa sa mga susunod or iba pa ko pang video someday.